Hi, are you a Splatoon lore enthusiast who can't get enough of the lore? Well, today we will be learning one fact about each Turf War stage. Come on, let's go! Urchin Underpass is the only stage to feature in a Mario Kart game. And on top of that, it also has a special remix of Splatak and Now or Never. Before becoming the host of Inkopolis News, the Squid Sisters actually had a part-time job at Walleye Warehouse. Salt Spray Rig is the only stage that isn't symmetrical, which is very annoying. Arowana Mall is one of the two stages that didn't feature at all in the single-player campaign. Port Mackerel's French name is Haddock Docks. A haddock is an actual fish. Here's a short one for Kelp Dome. Kelp Dome is owned by a person called Granny. No clue who they are. It's Bluefin Depot may just have the best one here. All right, let's get into it. At the end of the story mode level, an un undi undeniable flying object, you can go closer to where the undeniable flying object is. And after um, beating the undeniable flying object, if you stand around after the music stops, apparently you can hear moans and creepy noises. I haven't actually heard about this one before, but here's how this relates to Bluefin Depot. Apparently, if you recon Bluefin Depot at night, you can hear these, the moans, the moans too, and, and Callie mentions it. That one I didn't know about before making this. That's actually really cool. Yeah, it sounds like Salt Spray Rig has a skinwalker problem. Yeah, so I've swapped filming locations and now I'm by the beach. Uh, so if you hear any um, cannonballs going off and the waves, that's that's why. Sorry. Also, I said the wrong thing and I felt the need to clarify. I'm not on the beach. I'm on the balcony um, in a chair. I have a noise reduction thing, so it'll drown out most of the noises, hopefully. Um, yeah. Fact for Amore Towers. If you are trying to get to the enemy team spawn, you can't. It's uh, too high to reach. Moving on to Camp Triggerfish. Camp Triggerfish has a spelling mistake in its name in the Spanish version. It's supposed to be spelled C-A-M-P-A-M-E-T-O space A-R-A-W-A-N-A. -A -A. Instead, it's spelled you know, the first word. A-R-O-W-A-N-A. -A. Okay, Flounder Heights has a bit of a weird one. So, near the end of a match, according to my source, the horn of a tofu seller can be heard. I'm gonna let you listen to that now, just, just so you know what I'm talking about. It's kind of weird. Okay, so I don't think a lot of people will know this one for Hammerhead Bridge, but it's something interesting. So, under Hammerhead Bridge, you can see the Nil statue. This is only in Splatoon 3, by the way. This doesn't appear in the original Splatoon. The Nil statue is there, which, okay, how's it over there? Is Inkopolis, like, right across the, the water? That's not how the map shows it, so how is, how is the statue here? I, I don't understand it. If you know, uh, please tell me. Alright, for Museum d'Alfonsino, we have a pretty interesting one. At nighttime in Museum d'Alfonsino, there are some statues on the left and the right, one for each side. And they make laughing noises at night. I'm gonna go into more detail about this in another video, so we're gonna leave it at that. Alright, pretty short one here for Mahi Mahi Resort. There's a jellyfish band playing What's Your Style, one of the lobby tracks. At the one minute mark in Piranha Pate, you can walk down the conveyor belt and look in the water. There, you will see the great zapfish swimming around. And Chobi Games is a game development studio. They also made table turf cards. In the original trailer for Splatoon 2, the reef was shown off with a wooden bridge. That has since been changed to a stone bridge since Pearl's voice broke it. Under the battlefield on Muscle Forge Fitness, there is a large swimming pool. Starfish main stage has many splat band stickers littered around the map. Humpback Pump Track has a foam pit. If you recon Inkla Art Academy during Splatfest, there are green ringing phones, which have octolings talking 
through them. Sturgeon Shipyard is a ship that's under construction. The Manta Maria is the same model of ship that Pearl got for her sixth birthday. I think Pearl's dad may just be Bill Gates. Snapper Canal is where Pearl learned to ride a bike. Okay, I forgot Black Valley Skate Park earlier, but we're gonna do it now. And its fact is that it's the small stage. Mako Mart has off-the-hook cereal. Schellendorf Institute is named after a Moses Schellendorf, Sheldon's grandpa. Gobi Arena has basketball hoops. And if I'm correct, this doesn't really count as a fact, but this was the first map I ever played in Splatoon. So, that's pretty cool. The first big run was held at Wahoo World. Also, I found this neat little promotional video. New Albacore Hotel has an official slogan. According to Marina, splatting someone between the two statues will bring you good luck in a turf war. Scorch Gorge is a national park. Tail Alley once had a glitch where if bringing a big swig roller, you would be able to hit a certain spot on the map and cause a huge lag spike. A vendor at Hagglefish Market actually buys the Cuts Treasure. For some reason, the helicopter can, um, fly underground in Undertow Spillway. Mincemeat Metalworks is one of the only places in Splatoon where you can see cars. Brandwater Springs has a glitch where you can jump into the water at your spawn and not die. During the one minute mark on Umami Ruins at a Splatfest, you can go to the Alpha side and a statue's eyes will start glowing. More creepy stuff. And now, we have come to the last fact. Barnacle and Dime is a shopping mall. And now, we have come to the end of this journey, learning about Splatoon stages. Some of them less interesting than others. If you enjoy this kind of thing, subscribe. Next month, we are going to be talking about Splatoon when it gets scary. Uh, I think that's going to be an interesting video. I hope you'll come back for that. But until then, don't get cooked, stay off the hook.